Hey guys, Delf here, and I'm back with episode two of How to Code Guns in Minecraft. In this episode, we are going to be worrying, working on uh, burst and shot delay. So we have already have kind of the fastest we could go, but we're going to have kind of slower rate of fire, auto fire, as well as a burst fire mode uh, coded today. It'll be really simple, just some scoreboard work. Now a little bit touching up on uh, last episode where I discussed the input detection method and why I went with en Eye of Ender. Um, there's a few things to note. First off, unless you are doing something strictly for survival, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to use the Eye of Ender. Uh, if you're making an adventure map or minigame, it works perfectly. The second reason uh, or the second thing I want to discuss is different input detection methods. Some people discussed like, what about left click? Because that's what people are used to. But honestly, your user base will get used to whatever you tell them the input is. People, hum the human brain is actually able to learn. So you're actually able to adapt pretty quickly. You'll find that if you make something that uses right click personally with your code, you will very quickly adapt to hitting right click to click. Uh, and your players will be able to adapt eventually too. Uh, another thing is uh, crossbows or bows using the using item, which do not require an eye of ender. Those are nice, but also they become very big challenges to animate and get working properly because you can see that it does all this weird movement. Uh, that can become a problem. Uh, and you also need to keep the offhand occupied. Uh, knowledge books are a was a good thing to bring up though it is not a good option because when you use a knowledge book it is consumed when you use an eye of ender and there is no ender portal it is not consumed uh, so books are not really the best option because you have to replace them each time which becomes a problem with kind of the future stuff we want to set up where some of the stats are actually stored in mbt because that's kind of what i like to do sometimes uh, it's a very it keeps things very clean very simple in your code you don't have to store an mbt and we'll get over that later uh and then the Final option is using a carrot on a stick and then using scoreboards to control to get a higher fire rate. That's okay, but you will always be bursting. So if you want to get the fire rate like this, this fast, you need to basically make a carrot on a stick fire automatically and it needs to always be burst fire. Uh, so every single full auto weapon faster than four times per second will become burst fire. That's a little bit annoying for users. Um, you can't stop a burst fire once you click it. That's weird. The other problem is it has higher latency. So again, it only updates four times, four to five times per second. It might be five, it might be four. I don't test myself, but it updates four or at best five times per second, which means that it is four to five times slower than using an eye of ender. So the users, when you're in uh, high intensity situations like PVP, they're really gonna notice that latency. Uh, and they'll have to lead their shots a lot more than with this one in terms of predicting where players are going to go. Uh, anyways, so all of that's summarized. I think that's all I wanted to get to because today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, but we're going to be going over burst fire, auto fire, and cooldown. So I'm going to be. So the first thing we're going to need is a couple new scoreboards and to mess around with some of these main and tick functions. So the init function is a function that is ran when the scoreboard. Uh, when the game starts or when you type flash reload so we're going to do scoreboard objectives add cooldown dummy now if you have a namespace i would suggest or a special namespace for this if it's not if it's something you intend other people to use but for the most part you can go get away without using a namespace but you could do something like cw dot or your initials dot uh, but I prefer to just not use namespaces because most of my projects are not something I intend for other people to use. Uh, we're also going to want a scoreboard called stats that's a dummy, and I'm just going to move this above. Uh, we're also going to want a scoreboard called auto delay, and we're going to want a scoreboard called auto fire. And really, these are the majority of the uh, scoreboards that we're actually going to need for this entire system. You pretty much need a scoreboard for anything that you want to keep as a timer between ticks. And you kind of need these all separate for at least this system. But most of the other things we're going to do in this, you can use fake players for everything. Okay, so we're going to do execute as at a and we will specify this later. But let's go run function. And then let's go uh, gun colon or guns, gun, yeah, singular, gun colon main underscore player. So this is a main function or a ticking function that is played at all the players. So I'm going to make a new function called that. And the point of this is just so I can use at s anytime I have a specific player so you don't get any multiplayer issues mixed up because uh, it will handle each of these functions separately for separate people. Okay, so inside the right click input, we're going to change it from saying click to doing 
tag at s add shoot and more specifically at s scores equals cooldown equals zero so if you have no cooldown then shoot and that is going to be important for later uh okay so in here you have to do execute if entity at s tag equals shoot run function gun colon shoot slash start so this is just going to be a normal fire it is going to be shoot slash start so we're going to make a folder called shoot and we're going to make a function called start okay and my convention is i just kind of use start whenever it's like a normal entryway into a folder and what is going on in that folder so i'm going to make this do say shoot okay so you can hit oh and you need to do tag at s remove shoot that way it doesn't get stuck so if i type slash reload and then the only other thing you need to do is inside here you need to make everybody's score zero so scoreboard players add at a cooldown zero if you don't have cooldown of zero then you won't be able to shoot and we'll just make sure that you add that if like new players join they get that there you go so it'll say shoot every time i click and it'll keep saying it if i hold it the reason that we did this separated with a tag is it makes it a little bit easier to synchronize the events going on and making sure that only one thing happens at a time so inside of here we're going to do a couple things so when you shoot you need to apply the cooldown so we're going to use scoreboard players operation at s cooldown so your cooldown score comes from cooldown that is on stats and of course it doesn't have anything populated there yet it's a fake player it will eventually self-populate but for now we are going to populate it ourselves the other thing you want to do is do auto fire from stats and auto delay from stats okay oh and auto fire there we go okay so that kind of copies it over then what you need to do is you need to go into here and do scoreboard players remove at s scores equals cooldown equals at least one cooldown one so that means you will remove one as long as you have at least one in your cooldown and we're going to do the same for auto delay this is going to be a separate scoreboard that controls whether it automatically fires on its own okay so that's also going to be there all right so then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to hit reload and see how that auto fire works so we're going to do scoreboard objective set to the sidebar stats scoreboard player sets dot cooldown stats to 20 so now you should see that it'll only say shoot once every second uh, so that was able to slow us down now let's deal with auto fire and auto delay okay so this is pretty simple so execute if and if uh, or as at s scores equals auto delay equals zero so if you're at zero for auto delay and if auto fire is at least one then and this is important you do not run the regular shoot you run an alternative one called burst and we're just gonna call this burst and later on it will be important to update this one as well so that it's very parallel to the original so inside burst we're just going to say the word burst okay we're gonna not add the tag and in this case we're just going to copy the auto delay score and we're going to remove one from the auto fire so what this essentially is going to do is when you shoot it's going to set a score for cooldown and auto delay and as long as auto delay is less than cooldown auto delay will count down to zero before cooldown reaches zero and auto delay will count to zero and for each auto fire variable it will run burst so it'll run burst remove one then it will reset the auto delay stat run burst remove one reset the auto delay stat okay so let's do scoreboard player set the auto delay stats to two so this means every two ticks two ticks happen in between your shots so you will do first shot then you will do a tick and uh, two ticks and then you will do another shot okay so then we will set auto fire equal to three so now when i click it once oh let me type slash reload there you go so if i click it once it'll say burst 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 uh then one other thing that is kind of nice here is inside this start let's add a remove one or just have some kind of logic in your head so 
just keep in mind that if auto fire is three, that means it's going to fire three plus your first. So you can either, if that's annoying to you, then you can go and do this. So remove one initially. So then auto fire, if it's three, that means you're going to shoot a total of three, or you can just remember that uh, it is your first shot plus however many subsequent shots there are. So two, two means that you shoot a burst of three. Okay, so that's interesting. The next thing to note is kind of the timing situation here. So what kind of timing stuff do we have going on? So let's think about this logically. You think about the extreme cases. So let's say that auto delay is zero, okay? So if auto delay is zero, then what'll happen is we come into here, auto delay will be set to zero. This will check auto delay and it will immediately fire the burst. So what you actually want to do is reverse these orders just to avoid that. Now, whether these scores tick before or after doesn't have a huge impact on your timing, but these two do need to be switched in case you have a case where for some reason auto delay is zero, it won't shoot two in the same tick. So this will keep them from shooting two in the same tick essentially. Uh, yeah, so now let's think again. So if we put it to zero, then the next tick, this will not count down and it will just fire this. And then the next, and it'll fire this and it'll fire this. Now let's think what if auto delay is one? Okay, if auto delay is one, then you have basically one tick between each fire. Okay, so kind of how these stats work, you have to keep in mind how they work. Like in the back of your head, you could put notes somewhere. So if you implement it like this, then what that means is an auto delay of one means you have a one tick delay between each shot because the scoreboards are removed up here. So if I say one, then that really just means one is the same as zero. Okay, if I put the scoreboards, let's say here, then they actually have a different meaning then an auto delay of one is going to behave a little bit different. But I think the safest way, or at least what I've found is the best way, is setting your order like this. So uh, with this order, essentially an auto delay of one is the same as an auto delay of zero, but it means that there is one tick between each shot. So shoot, tick, next tick is a shoot, next tick is a shoot. If you put two, then you will shoot every other tick. And if you put a three, you will shoot every third tick. So I think that the, that makes the most sense logically, but it's really up to you how you want to set it up. This is how I'll be setting it up. Okay, so that's everything. So we hit reload and uh, we have this burst, 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 shoot, burst, 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 shoot, burst, burst, shoot, burst, burst, shoot, burst, burst, just like that. Now, do not let the cooldown become lower than the combined auto fire plus burst rate. Otherwise, any additional ones will just be thrown away. Other than that, that's pretty much everything for this very basic scoreboard manipulation. Hopefully you guys thought that was interesting. It was a little interesting to me, but it's going to get a whole lot more interesting when we start throwing all these pieces together. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.